I love gravel bikes because they can pretty much do anything. They can whip down some single track, take on some epic gravel trails. They're the perfect machine to go bike packing with. And perhaps most importantly of all, they can whip along the tarmac. But what if you took that to extremes? Would a gravel bike hang with the pace in a road race? Today, I'm about to find out because I entered this in one. Ha ha! This is a gravel bike I'm gonna be racing on today. It's fast, it's light, it's versatile, and I wanna prove its versatility today because it can take pretty much anything you throw at it. It's a do-it-all bike, and that is why I love gravel bikes. I'll talk you through a few of the details, okay? So gearing-wise, I've got a 40 up front, 1042 at the back, which can handle some real steep, mucky tracks. It will get you over there with ease, but also it will hang in there on the flats with some pace, and that's what I'm gonna to need today because speeds in this race, I think are gonna be high. So Average speed, I'm guessing, is gonna be around 40 to 45 kilometers an hour. 42 kilometers an hour, I'll be at 80 RPM on this setup. 95 revolutions per minute, I'll be traveling about 50 kilometers an hour. Speed spike to 60 kilometers an hour, I'm gonna be spinning to win. I'm gonna be around 110 RPM, but that should be enough to hang in there. So I'm pretty confident with that. Tire-wise, I've gone for 40 mil pretty hard terrains, which are capable of rolling fast on the flats, on the, on the hard stuff, but also tacking some hard packed gravel, going out into the woods. Maybe I'd have gone for some knobblies in some real wet, muddy conditions, but still, you could take this bike on these tires pretty much anywhere. Let's face it, you could challenge yourself and do what you wanted. Yes, I could have gone wider, I could have gone to 45 mil, but I think 40 mil, that's the sweet spot, which is gonna allow me to still have that pace on the road race when it's needed. There'll be some watching this who'll say, well, why didn't you just put on some road tires? But I wanted to prove by using the gravel tires that this thing's still gonna have the speed necessary. Most people I'll be racing against will be on 25 mil, 28 mil with tires. If I hang in there, if I sit on the wheels, keep myself out of trouble, I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna still have the pace needed. And I wanted to keep this as the gravel setup. That's why I've gone for the, the mountain bike specific pedals. I've gone for the same gearing and I've gone for the tires because I wanna show that really, with how this bike is set up now, it can take on anything you throw at it and maybe win. Okay, that might be wishful thinking, but we'll see. Give it our best. How long do you reckon Connor's going to last? 10 minutes at best. I reckon he's going to get spat on the first lap. First lap? Yeah. He's going to go 60k an hour on that first lap, and he's only got 42, Son. 42, Jamie. Yeah, he's got no chance. No Good luck, chance. Connor. <laughs> the race I'm doing is the evening crit at Thruxton in the south of the UK. I was racing in the third category, which meant a 45 minute race. I picked up my number and couldn't help but notice I was the only one on wide tires. Right then, it's race day and I'm putting my number on. I feel uh, a bit nervous actually. I've got butterflies. You can't help but get butterflies when you're putting a number on. But it feels a bit different, the fact that I feel um, I'm doing it on a gravel bike. It's so obviously, you know, Let's accept it's gonna be a little bit slower than uh, the setups people are, people are using today. There's some fast looking machines about, but I'm still feeling confident. Quite good at riding at the back of races and ducking and diving, so hopefully use that to my advantage. So the race itself is gonna be about 45 minutes long. Alex told me a few details, his mates raced it quite a lot. Says the average speed is normally around 42 kilometers an hour and his mate, Average 280 watts. Pretty spicy. I'm really hoping his mate isn't 50 kilos in weight. My number's on though, number 23. And the gravel bike's in the race. Big field, which is cool to see. So there's gonna be a lot of wheels to sit behind. Wish me luck. <laughs>
Halfway through, I was managing to hold on to the bunch and even got near the front for a few cheeky attacks. But it was getting tough. Could I hang on until the finish? So there we go, race over, and I'm actually really proud of myself for surviving. I got around in the bunch, and um, in all honesty, I actually felt pretty good. The bike felt great. When I was in the wheels, I was able to roll along. To be fair, it was such a wide, rolly circuit like this, I had quite a lot of protection in the wheels, so I was able to recover. I didn't feel sluggish at all, which was interesting. I thought I might even feel a bit sluggish there, and maybe like I was losing power, but I didn't. I was able to really kind of actually keep quite good momentum. I did try a few attacks because I noticed my acceleration wasn't quite as fast as when I was on my full road bike setup. Um, so I thought if I could sneak away, maybe a, a, little, a little bit uh, sly and just sneak away when I could, then maybe I might get a group going and who knows, the gravel bike could have rolled a top 10 perhaps, but it wasn't to be. I kept, uh, I got reeled back in and then in the sprint, the pace was so fast, I just, uh, I just didn't have the legs to hold it. But I mean, Personally, the gravel bike surpassed my expectations, and I think it shows how powerful these sort of bikes are. That you can hang with that fast speed on the tarmac, but then if you want to, you can turn left and have a whole heap of fun off-road as well. So, yeah, dead chuffed to get around. It was so much fun to be back racing as well. And let me know in the comment section down below if you thought the gravel bike was going to make it around, or if maybe you two were a little surprised that it was able to hang in there with the road bikes. As always, thanks for watching. I'll we'll see you on the next video. I'm gonna go and find a recovery shake now. Maybe put a uh, lumber lumberjack shirt on. Is that what gravel bike riders wear?